So if you're an average sleeper and you're looking for a brand new online mattress, two options that we constantly recommend over here at the Slumberyard are the Brooklyn Bedding Signature, which is a really quality and affordable hybrid mattress, and the Casper Original, which is by far one of the most popular all foam mattresses within the online space. But if your search has come down to these two options and you're really trying to pick apart the reasons to go with which and why you clicked on the right video, because that's exactly what I'm gonna cover today. Hey guys, I'm JD with The Slumberyard and over here at The Slumberyard, as I've mentioned, we review online mattresses. So check in the description to see a lot more related content and helpful links. But in this video, I'm basically gonna start off by covering the types of policies that these two mattresses are backed by. Then we're gonna discuss the commonalities that they share. We're gonna talk about where they differ. So where exactly they contrast and stuff like that. We'll talk Talk about pricing and at the very end I'll even sum things up with a final verdict on who we see each option being best for. Now give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful towards your online mattress search and subscribe to The Slumberyard if you want to help support us. We really appreciate your support. But now let's get right into this. At the Slumberyard, you know we work real hard to find the right bed for you and save you money on it. Okay, so jumping right into this thing, let's talk about the types of policies that you're gonna be receiving with the Brooklyn Bedding Signature and the Casper Original. But before I do that, I do wanna preface this section by saying that we did receive both of these options for free from their respective brands to review and tell you guys about them. But policy-wise, they should ship directly to you with completely free bed box shipping, which means the mattresses will be rolled up tightly in plastic inside of a big box that's around like four feet tall. Once they arrive at your door, all you gotta do is just drag those boxes in your home and with the help of a friend, unbox them, which is really easy and kind of fun to do. We've unboxed countless beds over here at the Slumberyard and it still never manages to get old. It's always kind of a fun process. Now, once the beds are in your possession, you also get a trial period with them both. With Casper, you get a full 100 nights, so a little over three months to basically test the beds out at home for yourself before you're stuck with them. And you get one additional month over that with Brooklyn Bedding, so 120 nights with them. Now, if within those trial period timeframes, you just find that these beds aren't exactly what you expected at the end of the day, you don't really like how they feel, how firm they are, you wanna send them back, that's totally fine because within those timeframes, you can get completely free returns as well. Though both brands will probably ask you to try them out for at least 30 days before initiating the whole returns process. This is just because they want you to give it a real college try to develop a real opinion about these beds before you just send them back willy nilly. Now, in the case you do want to keep them, I imagine that should be the case for most folks out there. They're pretty solid options, to us at least, over here at the Slumberyard. They're both backed by warranties, and I believe it's a 10-year warranty with both. And if you need any more information about the warranties, the other policies, the sleep trials, all that stuff, you know, check in the description. We should have some helpful links down there to help you out with all that stuff. Now let's talk about the similarities between the Signature from Brooklyn Bedding and the Casper Original, and the main one has to do with feel. We are constantly recommending these two options, specifically for a reason, and it's just because they have a really unassuming, soft, neutral foam type of feel that should work for pretty much anyone out there. But the constructions are gonna be a bit different between the two. So the Casper Original is an all foam mattress by default, and that means it's gonna be primarily best for medium and petite sized individuals at the end of the day. If you are a bit heavier, you're probably gonna wanna look into a hybrid bed that uses pocketed coils instead of dense foam for support. And that's because pocketed coils just go a long way in providing a lot more long-term support and durability for bigger body types, and they even add to the overall motion isolation and bounce to a bed if that's something that you're looking for. Now, the Brooklyn Bedding Signature is gonna be more applicable for those bigger body types because it does use pocketed coils for support and it is a hybrid mattress. So the Brooklyn Bedding Signature should work for all body types, including those heavier folks. Another difference between these two is in regards to firmness levels. So with the Casper Original, this bed is right smack dab in the middle of our scale at a proper medium. It's actually so such a medium that we use it to judge other medium firmness profiles within online mattresses. And a medium firmness will work for pretty much anyone out there, all sleeper types, backside, stomach, and combination sleepers. Now, in terms of the Brooklyn Bedding Signature, you actually have three different options to choose from with this mattress, a soft, a medium, and a firm. We usually recommend the medium option from the Signature as it's right in between a medium and a medium soft on our scale. So again, it's gonna work for all sleeper types, but it might just give the slight support edge for back and stomach sleepers. So with the Signature bed, you're getting a lot 
lot of firmness options to choose from rather than Casper, which is only offering one at this moment. But speaking of options, with both brands, you also have a number of other beds to choose from. With Casper, they also offer the Element Pro, which is a newer budget-friendly mattress offering from the brand. They have the Casper Original Hybrid, which basically just swaps out that support foam for pocketed coils and basically makes a hybrid version of the original Casper bed. They also have the Nova and Wave hybrid beds, which have a much more pronounced zone support system within the beds if you maybe suffer from really bad back pain at night. And the Casper Nova is also a great option for side sleepers as it's a bit softer than the Casper Original. But more information about all the Casper beds can be found down below in the description box. In terms of Brooklyn bedding, they're actually a US-based manufacturer. They're actually out of Arizona. So if you want an American-made product, you're getting one here. But they also offer a number of different beds. To name a few, they have the Aurora Lux, which is a really nice active cooling option. We love that bed over here at the Slumberyard. In addition to the Plank Line, the Titan beds, and the Sedona, which is actually Wes's bed that he's currently sleeping on. Shout out, Wes. But again, guys, more information about all these Brooklyn bedding options can be found down below in the description. But now let's get into X factors. What are the particular things that set them both apart from the fray? In terms of Casper, the original mattress has a zone support design. And that basically means that the center layer of memory foam is divided into three separate sections. The middle section is intended to be a bit firmer than the head and foot ones, which are a bit softer. And this is basically there to help keep your back more neutrally aligned at night. You might not even notice that it's there when you go to hop on a Casper mattress, but you could notice it in the long run. And this type of zone support design is also found on the other Casper mattresses, many of the other ones. So more information on it should be in the description box for you guys. Now, in terms of Brooklyn bedding, I already mentioned that they're made in the USA. So if you like American made products, they might be right for you. But the Brooklyn bedding signature also is available with an optional cooling cover. So if you're maybe a hot sleeper, you want a cooling edge, this could be the right choice for you. You are gonna have to spend up for that active cooling cover. It's gonna cost you quite a bit more than that original pricing. But speaking of that, let's talk pricing. So how much are you gonna be shelling out for either one of these beds? And before I get into the section, I do wanna preface it by saying that mattress pricing and promotions within this space change often. You know, we'll look one week and it's completely different from what we just saw. So in any case, check in the description box to see whatever is current with all this stuff. But as of when I'm recording this video, you can usually expect to pick up a queen size Casper original for right around the $1150 range after discount, maybe a little bit upwards of that. And for the Brooklyn bedding signature, right now you can pick up a queen size for right around the $10.50 mark after discount, which is a great value for an online hybrid mattress these days. For the overall level of quality that you're getting either way you go here, we would say that both are priced pretty dang reasonably. So again, any discounts and promotions that we might happen to find for these beds should be down below in the description box as well. And if you do decide to use those codes that are in that description, it helps us out over here at the Slumberyard and we really appreciate it. But that's pretty much gonna sum it up for this comparison. You know, we constantly recommend these beds for a reason. They're really nice. You know, we think that pretty much anyone should be able to get down with them at the end of the day, but the question remains, who should go with which? Well, we would say look into the Casper Original. If you want an all foam bed with a neutral foam feel that's around a medium firmness and you like the sound of that zone support design and then check out Brooklyn Bedding Signature if you want a more supportive hybrid mattress with a neutral foam feel that's available in three different furnace levels at a really reasonable price point after discount. But hey, that's just our take on it. What is yours? Have you ever tried out a Casper Original or a Brooklyn Bedding Signature? Would you like to? Write us down below in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Again, tons more helpful stuff. It should be in the description box for you guys. Full written reviews, other comparisons, buyer guides, discounts to help save you some money on these beds. The list goes on and on. If you enjoyed this video, you maybe got something out of it we helped you out towards your online mattress search. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to, but that's pretty much gonna do it for this one. Again, I'm JD with The Slumberyard. Hopefully you're doing well out there and like always, sleep right, sleep tight, and we'll see you next time.